Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In the last video we talked about what is hydraulics, what hydraulics does, and how it can be helpful. And in this video we're going to be talking about a subcomponent within hydraulics um, that is used within a hydraulic system. And that is called an accumulator. And so let's go ahead and get started so that we can talk about where this accumulator plays an important role in the system so that the system can function properly. So in the last video, I used this website, conversionstraining.com. Let me pull it down here. And uh, so you can go there to see this uh, schematic that's here. But I used this in the last video and uh, to kind of show a basic hydraulic system here and just to show you all the different parts that go into it. Uh, some hydraulic systems may look different, but this is just your basic one, just to show you as an example. And to, talk, to show you the component that we're going to be talking about today is the accumulator. And there's the accumulator labeled right here. And uh, just a basic understanding of what an accumulator does, it either provides pressure to the system in the event that uh, pressure is lost in the system, or it can take on extra pressure if there is a pressure surge within the system. Uh, so let's go ahead and go dive a little deeper into what the accumulator does and how it's important to the overall hydraulic system. So in terms of an accumulator, we have five main types, two of which are the most common types and are the two that we're going to be talking about today in this video. Uh, so we have the piston type, which is uh, looks like down here in this picture. We have the bladder type, which is shown in this picture here. Uh, the diaphragm type, which is in this picture here, the spring type, which is in this picture here, and then the weight loaded type, uh, which is in this picture here. So we only have enough time today to talk about the bladder type and the piston type, which is okay because those are, those are the most two most common used uh, types of accumulators within hydraulic systems, and uh, we'll dive into that a little bit deeper. So within a piston type uh, accumulator, uh, there is Basically, there's three essential main functions. So you have your nitrogen side, um, which is your gas side. You have your oil side, which is your hydraulic, where the hydraulic fluid goes. And then you have the piston that divides the two between the two sides. And so essentially what happens here is we use nitrogen as, uh, since air is compressible and nitrogen is a gas, uh, it, they use it, we use it in a hydraulic system as a spring um, so that when there is a pressure surge, the hydraulic fluid will rush in and push this piston more towards the nitrogen side um, because that nitrogen can compress and take on that pressure. Um, but then also in the opposite event, when a, uh, there's a pressure drop and the system needs more hydraulic fluid, this piston will move more towards the hydraulic side and forcing that hydraulic fluid back into the system to create more pressure within the system so that the other components within the system can work and proper func and uh, work properly. And so that's the that's the piston type um, for an accumulator. But there's also the bladder type which works very very similar except the only difference here is that instead of a piston it's a balloon. Uh, so as you can see here in this, um, where it says 1,000 PSI, this is if the accumulator had no hydraulic fluid in it, so it's forcing all of the hydraulic fluid back into the system. Um, that would be in the case that the uh, system is very, very low on hydraulic fluid, and it needs all of the hydraulic fluid it can get to provide that pressure within the system. But also in the event here where you see the 2,000 PSI, because that uh, air is being compressed, because the hydraulic fluid is being forced into the accumulator to take on that extra pressure that the system does not need. So it's being forced into this bladder type accumulator um, to take on that pressure. And the reason why this pressure goes up is because obviously as it's um, that air is being compressed, it's being confined into a smaller and smaller space. So therefore the pressure is going to go up rather than that 1000 PSI when there is no hydraulic fluid in the system. So those are just the two basic types of accumulators. We'll talk about more of what else goes into a hydraulic system in later videos, but I wanted to get into what accumulator does because it's a very basic part of the system and uh, something that's very simple to talk about, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. Um, but if you did like this video and you'd like to see further videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, uh, give this video a thumbs up so that you can see more, and thank you for watching.